Well, after a man shot and killed a professor here at the University of Arizona on Twitter and other social media platforms, really students and parents were really criticizing the university's response to the shooting. And I know that you spoke with not only students here on campus, but also campus police. Yeah, yeah, and staff. And they, they do say that they have a active shooter protocol, but they're saying that uh, the students especially are saying that they'd like more clarity. While grief and fear are felt across campus, so is frustration. So there's a lack of clarity, um, which is just dangerous for everyone. Um, and then there's this minimization where the campus is going on as usual. When the shooting started yesterday afternoon, students received texts from the alert system. And not everybody gets them. It makes it kind of difficult because there's not really a way of communication to sort of get this information across to everyone. And campus police say they got to the scene as fast as possible. I know that our response yesterday was, was very good. Um, we got to that call within a couple of minutes. He says the university follows the FBI's active shooter training. Presentations all the time about active shooter, uh, how to respond to it. We use the FBI national standard. Um, it is run, hide, and fight. But in the aftermath of the shooting, some students and staff say the response from the university wasn't enough. It should have been a systemic thing. It should have come from the top, and they said, let everyone be at home because this is a very traumatic thing to deal with. And for those on campus, they hope something like this doesn't happen again. Now, the students I spoke with say that they really want to emphasize one thing, taking care of your mental health. Live at University of Arizona, Tina Giuliano, Kega 9 on your side.